Hello everyone. Um, as you can see from the title of this video, this is a collaboration that I'm doing with Mike Deakin. Um, we got chatting a couple of weeks ago and Mike suggested that we do a festive themed um, project together. Um, and so we agreed to send each other um, three napkins, two of each design. Um, and so this is the package that Mike has sent me. So let's open it and see what we've got um, inside here. So I've already um, opened the top of the envelope as you can see so we've got um a card from mike let's have a look at this i love mike's style um very very mike very unique hi nina um here are your napkins can't wait to see what you make from them mike so there we go um so let's have a look and see what he's um sent so we've got um a santa napkin here very retro style i absolutely love the um red and white polka dots the snow absolutely gorgeous love this um so we've got um a santa napkin um, so we've got two of those. Um, we've also got this um, poinsettia um, napkin as well. So let's um, have a look at that. Um, and again, we've got, um, yep, two of those. And then we've got um, a tartan plaid napkin. I love tartan and plaid. So let's have a look at this one, um, this one here. Um, so again, as you can see, we've got two of these as well. So I'm going to um, have a think um, about what I can pull together, pull out a few supplies. And as soon as I've done that, I'll be back. Right, okie dokie, I've had a think about what um, I can do and I've decided I'm going to make a festive themed wall hanging. I've pulled out a piece of picture framing mount board. I've got several of these in my stash um, that I picked up from the scrap store um, years ago. Um, let's have a look because I know somebody's bound to ask what does it measure? It's approximately um, eight by eight. It's just slightly um, short of that, seven and, and three quarters. Um, so I've been to the island board and I've ironed um, the napkin because obviously um, the mount board is bigger than the individual four corners so I've ironed it just to get rid of that um, that crease in the center and this looks like it's three ply so I'm just going to take these layers um, apart um, I think that's the final layer yes it is um, so we've got two layers here I'm just going to discard those for the for the time being so here we are and oh whoops a daisy oh it's some um, tearing let's see if we can be really careful with this there we are that will do um, now I find that um, when I want to glue napkins down that the easiest way to do it is using a glue stick um, so I've got um, my scotch glue stick here I just need to go and grab a piece of parchment paper right okie dokie so I've got a piece of parchment paper here just to catch the um, excess glue and what I'm going to do is just um, apply glue stick all over um, this mount board background I'm trying to get it um, as smooth as possible I do find with the scotch that you do end up with a few globby bits if you press uh, press too hard um, so I'm just going to try and get this to be as smooth as possible focusing as I always say on the edges and so I'm just going to go over it like um, like this Okie dokie, so the mount board is now covered in glue and I think the easiest way um, for me to do this is to just move that um, to one side. This is the side where it's slightly torn, so I'm just going to flip that over and let's have a look um, at this. I'm just going to pop it on the corner like that and then flip my napkin um, over and just smooth it down as gently um, as I can. Now I've grabbed myself um, a piece of kitchen um, cling film um, because this will just help me um, smooth it down and try and get rid of um, any wrinkles. If I end up with a few wrinkles, that's fine. Um, of course, because you know you're using glue, if you just use your fingers with this, you're likely um, your fingers are likely to stick to the napkin um, and for it to tear and pull up. Um, you can smooth it over um, the napkin like this as well. Just be gentle. Um, and so I'm just going to do this until I know that it's um, firmly stuck. 
So my napkin is now firmly glued to my piece of picture framing mount board and I'm just going to use an emery board just to very gently um, file the edge away. This will just give me a really nice, nice finish around the edges and I'll do this over my bin to catch any dust but you can see how easily um, and quickly that's coming um, away. So I've trimmed around the edge of my piece of mount board and I just want to grunge up the edges using some um, distress inks and maybe some of this memento um, ink as well. I'm going to start off with the frayed burlap. I've got one of these um, sponges that I got from Amazon um, and I'm going to use that. I just think you get a much softer finish um, than using one of the um, blending tools so I'm just going to um, do this around the edges that one's not so dark and you can't see it all that much but it is sort of hiding um, the edges here let's try some of the vintage photo and see if um, yes you see that's darker that's much much better and it might be that my frayed burlap maybe is getting um, a bit dry um, as well because it's my most used colour I could do with them um, ordering a re um, a reinker. So I'm just going to go all around the edges just to try and distress this and grunge it up just a, just a bit. There we are, that's darkening the um, edges so that it doesn't look quite so clean, um, which is what um, the look I want. I love this plaid background. Um, plaid at this time of year is just so wonderful, isn't it? Um, so I think we can um, maybe, in fact that's the wrong lid, isn't it? Let me make sure I put the right um, lids on. I've got some of this Memento ink as well in ex uh, Espresso Truffle. Um, we can maybe try adding a bit of that. You see that's even darker still. And this is just framing um, the background of my, my piece. I'm really happy with the way um, that that looks so that's nicely um, inked around the edges um, but I want to add um, some stamping um, to my background. I'm going to use some gold embossing powder. I've got this Tim Holtz um, Stampers Anonymous stencil. What um, is it called? Um, sparkle layering stencil. Um, so I'm going to use this. I've also got um, my embossing dabber. This is the Emboss It um, Dabber in clear. I just thought that um, it might be easier than using um, a stamp pad so I just want to have some of these um, hanging off the edge of the page so I'm just going to dab on here like this I only really want it um, around the edge and I apologize if this is making my camera um, shake of course my camera as you know is suspended on my desk so I'm going to go over this like this. You can see that I've got um, a piece of um, paper, white paper, um, just regular copier paper um, underneath here as well. So that should um, that should do it. I'm going to carefully lift um, that off like that. Um, and then I've got some gold. It's called Pirate Gold um, Embossing Powder here. And I'm just going to sprinkle this all over my background and keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. Yeah, that looks um, fabulous actually. We've got um, a bit, of course, around the edges. Um, and, do you know, I actually quite um, quite like how that looks. So I'm just going to um, pour the excess back in um, and heat set this with my heat tool. So before I heat set this with my heat tool, I just want to hold it up and try and show you um, what I've got. And I'm hoping that um, this around the edge will just give me a really, really lovely border. So I'm just going to warm my heat tool up now and um, heat set it. I'm really happy with that. Just look how gorgeous um, that looks. So let's work on the focal image. I've got another piece of picture framing mount board, again in a square, but um, but smaller than the outside, as you can see. Um, this one measures about five by five inches. And I've got a piece of um, music paper as well. Santa Claus is coming to town, which I just thought was perfect with the um, Santa image. Um, so I'm just going to add um, some glue again all over um, the background. Bring back my parchment paper. Um, I think I need a new glue stick. So again I'm just going to add glue all over the background focusing on the edges again. 
doesn't have to be perfect because we can ink these up anyway um, but I'm just going to make sure I've got um, a good application of glue then move that out of the way and I just want to glue on and in fact what I shall do is do it um, from the other side and I've made two lines so that I know um, roughly where I want this to go so about there like that it could probably do with being a bit a bit higher up and of course you know with glue stick you've just got a little bit of um, wiggle room um, so I'm just going to make sure that that's firmly pressed down and again I'll trim around the edges so my music um, paper is glued on um, and again I've just used my uh, nail file just to trim around the edges which has made sure um, that it's firmly stuck around this kind of beveled edge and I'm going to add more glue over the top of the music paper. So I'm just making sure I've got plenty of glue like that, stick the lid back on, um, pop that out of the way again and then bring back um, my piece of um, napkin um, and you want to make sure that you've taken all the plies apart so that you're only dealing with one um, and I'm just going to eyeball this and pop that down about there I think and again I'll just use my um, cling film um, my deli wrap just to smooth smooth that out as best as I I can I just love the fact that you can see um, that music paper underneath how cute is that so my Santa um, is all filed and um, and trimmed um, I did it with a nail file in the same way and I just want to frame this as well and um, so I'm again using this memento ink in espresso truffle I really like that don't overdo it Nina just try and be quite subtle about it remembering that we can you know always add more but we can't take take it away so I'm just going to go all around the um, edges like this just to grunge it up a bit so I'm going to apply some more of my glue stick and I'm going to add um, the poinsettia napkin to the back there we go that will do um, and then I've ironed my poinsettia um, napkin again let me just move this out of the way because what I'm going to do now, um, let's just pop that um, on my coffee. I'm going to take the layers apart and I'm going to sit it on the back again. I just think that's the easiest way to get it um, even. So we'll take the napkin apart, um, being careful not to tear it up. Smooth it out um, and then I'm just going to pop that on there like like that and then again I can use that piece of cling film if I can find it buried on my desk just to smooth things out here we go here it is and just make sure that it's firmly attached all around the edges and I just love the way that that has just finished off the back and again, I'm just going to take my nail file just to file off all of the um, excess. Now, I'm just going around um, the outside of both pieces um, with this um, Deco Colour gold pen. You know how much I've been loving this um, recently. Um, and this is just finishing off the edges and, you know, just what's Christmas without a little bit of gold, hey? So I love that. Can you hear the wind outside? It is so windy here today. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the background um, as well. I'm just using a piece of scratch paper just to keep activating um, my pen. Um, and you can see why I've kept the other piece out of the way as well, because I don't want to um, end up with any unwanted um, splatters. So that's, um, that's that one done. I love how that looks. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing now with the background. 
The gold pen is now dry. I just really like how that frames my piece, but I do feel that um, I just want to add another layer. I've got a piece of this glittery cardstock here. Um, this measures five um, inches by five inches, and I've cut the cardstock to five and a quarter by five and a quarter. It's from this glitzy glitter cardstock here by um, DCWV. Um, this was sent to me in Happy Mail a couple of years ago by, by my friend Kathy Waxler. So I just want to. Um, um, use a piece of this. Now I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. Let me just move that out of the way um, for a second um, because I don't want to end up with any glue where I don't want it. I'm going to use Fabri-Tac um, just to glue this down to the gold cardstock. This won't warp it and um, will hold it nice and firmly in place. So we'll add a good amount of, of that and then I just need to centralise it on this really pretty glittery um, cardstock. So let me stand up to do this because I want to make sure I get it um, right. There we go, I think that's that. Press that, press that down and then I want to put some um, foam tape um, on the back of this just to lift it up um, off this lovely background here. Um, so that it just sits a bit proud. So here we are, I've got some foam tape, so I'm just going to add a layer of this um, all around the out outside. I'll do this off camera because this is a bit tricky because it's so, so sticky. Now I also thought that I might like to have um, some ribbon um, and a little dangly as well. I've got this which is um, a piece of upholstery um, trim or curtain trim. Um, I just love that and I'm thinking that um, my piece can sit on there like that. I just I just think that really adds um, something to it. So I'm just going to work out where I want that positioned and I'm just going to glue that um, down. I think what I'll do first to make sure that I get it in the right place is just sellotape it um, on the back. I've got some tape here and then I can trim it and just make it look um, nice and um, nice and neat. Now I ended up gluing both pieces of ribbon down with a tiny amount of Fabri-Tac and that's how it's secured on the back. Um, now it did tear ever so slightly because I'd held it in, in place with um, some scotch tape um, which did lift the napkin. So to try and disguise that I'm going to use one of these. Now I just glued um, a piece of napkin, the leftover napkin, to a piece of cardstock and I've cut a fussy cut um, some of these poinsettias um, out. What did I just do? Oh, there it is with the <laughs> darker one. And I'm just going to cut this in half because what I'm thinking is I can maybe um, disguise that there. Um, is that going over the top? Do I need to do that? It does look a little bit better, doesn't it? And I'm just going to use a small amount of Fabri-Tac and that will just make it look, look neat. And we'll just stick that on like like that, which will just cover up where it's a little bit untidy. Um, now, I'm just going to hold that down um, with a bulldog clip if I can find one. Oh, here we go. I've got some in front of me. So I'm just going to glue that down like that until that holds in, in place. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side there like that. So this is how it's looking on the back, so all nice and neat. And so now all I need to do um, is just glue my focal image down and then I need to um, decide on some kind of hanging mechanism for it. So we'll have this here like so. Let's just make sure that we line it up nicely. One shot at this, there we go, that's that. I just love that. I just think that's absolutely beautiful. So I just need to make a hanger now and I just want to mention in case anybody's wondering, um, I have added a coat of matte medium to all of the um, surfaces as well before I glued um, this down. I just forgot to um, mention it. Um, so that has been sealed. So I want to use this tool here to um, just add some um, holes. Let me just move that out of the way because I'm thinking I might add some beads as well. Um, I'm not using my crocodile um, today just because um, 
the holes are a bit bigger so I'm going to use this tool which is just one of these um, springy doodads that I got from um, China um, so I just need to make sure that I've got this relatively even on all sides in fact I'm going to measure it because otherwise I'm not going to be happy with it so that's about one and a, a half let me just make a mark just so that I know let me find a white um, pencil so it's going to go about there so we do the same on both sides make sure that it's um, the same height as well so there we go that will do now I've just cut myself a piece of um, gilt on copper wire um, this is it here so 80 millimeter um, and I'm just going to thread a piece through so we'll start off on this side um, here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to form a bit of a, a loop so I'm just going to bend this is awkward that there like that and then I'm just going to wrap it um, round and this wire is nice and soft so I can just you know use my fingers to do this and I'm just going to wrap it um, three times because I think if you wrap it three times it just looks really nice and neat and I can use my pliers if it gets a bit stiff where I haven't got much wire left at the end but um, you know that just looks really neat and then I can trim that off on the on the back like like so um, now before um, I do anything else I've got some beads here I've got some red and some some gold um, I might not use um, all of the gold or um, I might just use the red I'm just going to see what this looks like um, how many have I got two three four five one two three four five six mm, I'm gonna have to um, add some some gold ones I think I don't think I shall have have whoops a daisy they're pinging everywhere so I'm just going to thread some of some of these on until I'm I'm happy with it so here we are I've got the same design on both sides these are not very good quality um, beads um, they're just coated um, plastic beads I, I think but you know they'll do do for this and then I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to wrap it round again. So three more, more wraps. So here we are, we're nearly done. I've just got one last finishing touch. I've just found this um, in my stash. Um, so I'm just going to peel it um, off like this. And I'm just thinking that that might look quite nice um, just in the middle there. What do you think? I'm going to stick that down with some um, fabri tac before I change my mind. So, almost done. There's just one last thing I'm, I'm itching to do. I've got some of these Nouveau Crystal drops in white. And I'm just going to add just a few little dots here and there. Which I think will just lift the page. Well, I'm calling that done. I'm really happy with that. Um, the addition of the Nouveau Drops has given it some lovely dimension and it's just really brightened it and made it pop as well. I'm ever so pleased with that. Um, let me just carefully show you what it looks like on the back. Of course, the Nouveau Drops need to um, lie flat for 12 or so hours um, to, to set, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful. And let me show you in this orientation um, as well because it won't fit um, in uh, uh, under the camera um, just because, you know, of the position of my my tripod um so thank you ever so much mike that was a really fun um collaboration love the napkins that you sent me and i'm itching to see what you've done with the napkins that um, that i sent you i'll leave the link to mike's video in the description box below so you know please do go and have a look and if you enjoyed the video that i've created today as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up and do let me know what you think in the comments below take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon Bye for now.